Okay, um, I'm making this video to address some of the issues concerning the definition of rape that we seem to be experiencing in our American pop culture today. Um, a popular rap artist known as Rick Ross just recently um, was featured in a song in which he sang lyrics about date rape. He said, I put a molly in her champagne and she ain't even know. I took her home and I enjoyed that and she ain't even know. I think it's obvious here that he's talking about raping a girl when she didn't even know that he was doing this. And this is a problem. Rape has more than one definition. It has just because she's not screaming no and she's not fighting you back doesn't mean it's not rape. If she's unconscious, she can't consent, it's rape. If she's not the legal age of consent in Georgia, it's 16, that's rape. And it's statutory rape between the ages of 16 to 18 if you are over 18. So there's different kinds of rape. But it's still rape, and it's still wrong. And Rick Ross, I'm ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm ashamed to even listen to your music anymore because you're sending this message out to young men and even to young women that date rape is okay, and it's cool, and it's funny, and you can brag about it. And that's wrong. Now, there was just recently a rape case in Ohio about a 16-year-old girl who was raped by members of, teenage members of a football, high school football team. And they posted pictures on the internet and they sent pictures of this girl all around. Brag, these boys were bragging about what they'd done. But the girl was so drunk, she didn't know what was going on. And in my opinion, they had to have had that nagging feeling of what we're doing to this girl is wrong. Yet, they still did it, and they still sent messages and pictures and proof of what they were doing to this girl to other people. So in some way, they must have thought they were going to get away with it, because if you're committing a crime, a serious crime, Who's stupid enough to send it to other people that can report you unless you think you can get away with it? And my thoughts are that these boys think that because this girl wasn't kicking and screaming and fighting and shouting no, that they could get away with it. And that's why it's so important that we educate our young people, and especially our boys and our daughters. They need to know that what rape is, and that there are different forms of it. And that goes into then post-penetration rape. Whereas originally there was consent given, but once you get going and you want to stop, you must stop. And boys are capable of stopping at any point. I don't want to hear excuses. They're capable of stopping. No means no, and there are different ways to not give consent. And that's all I have to say, but I think this is a serious issue, and I hope that these examples really show us that we need to educate our children and our young people and make sure that both, both genders are aware of the different forms of consent that exist, of consent and non-consent, and the different forms of rape that exist as well.